Be here, folks. The warm place to be tonight. Um, yes, I'll be kicking off with a bit of uh, Mississippi John Hurt for you. I'm doing some uh, some of my new tunes from an album that's coming out real soon. This one here is on my Into the Blues album. John Hurt's uh, classic uh, rearranged for you called Frankie and Albert. Everybody know she paid one hundred dollars for Albert's suit and clothes. He was a man who done wrong. Mississippi John Hurt, one of my all-time guitar heroes. I just about uh, my new album's getting processed at the moment, getting ready for uh, release, and uh, that's called Further Down the Line. And uh, there's an Eric Clapton tune I'm going to play for you now, which I recorded instrumental. 
beautiful thing. Uh, he sings it, of course, but I'm not going to sing it. It's called The Wonderful Tonight. One of his ballads, and I always love this one. Hope you enjoy. song for you ladies and gentlemen from uh, my forthcoming album that's called my father's books i had this ly ly lyric sitting around for quite a while and i was playing it as a sort of a folky tune and then uh, it wasn't quite sitting properly with me and one day i played it over a blues and it just seemed to fit perfectly so, um, it's my father's books Sometimes in the mirror, 
I see my father's face I see him passing judgment I look like a mistake And I'll never be what he wanted Never be what he wanted to be And I thought my father's books Were all that he left me Now with his books all around me As I try to find my way My eyes discover pages The old man has his way I might never be what he wanted Maybe I'll finally see Yes, I thought my father's books were all that he left me. Thoughts and feelings never so clear, but the words will always stay. As we travel through this darker world to the light of a better day. It said we need to travel, need to walk in another's shoes, and read between the lines, and look for hidden clues. You might never be what they want, maybe you too can see. Yes, I thought my father's books were all. for you, another new one. Back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s they uh, discovered these photos or whatever, found these photos of Robert Johnson and uh, of course up, up until that point no one really knew exactly what he looked like and we were all a bit sceptical of these photos suddenly appearing and they had to get people to verify them you know and, um, and they did of course and I, I imagine that um, they asked uh, Robert's uh, last fiance Willie May if this was really him, so they show, show her the photo and she has her reaction. So this song was, I wrote this song about that moment when William May sees the photo of Robert Johnson and she, and she identifies him and there's a little bit of a backstory there too about their, their time together. So let's see how we go. This one's called The Photo. World premiere. How lucky are you? <laughs> so remember all the words.
So Willie Mae says, oh, that's my man. I love that face and I felt those hands. You know, we borrowed that suit. Way to get that guitar. <laughs> Mother used to tell me, I hope you have a getaway car. Just like that. You see, I could never settle him down. He was a wandering soul. For all those years, we could never be whole. I wake up in the morning and the whole world of pain. With the empty bed blues, he hoboed the midnight train. Yeah, last time I saw him, he was riding high with a terraplane blues. But in the blink of an eye, he's gone like a ghost. And only stories I'm told. You see that photo in your hand? It's all that remains of that world. Just like that. But you see, legend has grown and his songs of fame. The wide world over, I might stake a claim. I never saw a cent from that good for nothing man of mine. So excuse me, mister. Till I see the bottom line Well, one more time, let's cut to the chase Is he back again on just that grinning face? When he said he loved me, I do believe he tried. The one trip to the crossroads left one jilted double cross bride. I used to be able to read these lists on the floor back in the old days. I know it says something. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Can I get to have a little bit less reverb in that monitor there? Uh, where was that? My reverb working from up here. So. For fingerstyle guitar players, one of the iconic people is uh, John Fay. And, uh, I recorded this piece that I've always loved called The Last Steam Engine Train. It came out right at the um, kind of rebirth, if you like, of fingerstyle blues. And uh, this is called The Last Steam Engine Train. It's on my guitar music album. What was that? That's my rebirth. Just having a band meeting. Okay.
Are you meant to try? Yeah. You know, I have a new one for you. This was inspired by some of the bluesy melodies that uh, Duke Ellington wrote, which I've always loved. They're kind of blues with uh, a couple of other dimensions added to it. This one's called Along the Milky Way. Week was almost in tune. <laughs> anyway, that's the Milky Way and uh, it's on your album. Got some beautiful double bass on there by Liz French and Turk. Here's an old blues one that I've been playing forever and a day and uh, I first played this with Dutch Tillers back in, uh, God, I don't know when, in the 70s sometime. I thought I remember the 70s very well. <laughs> Stop laughing back there. We used to play, I used to play mandolin in this one with the Dutchman, anyway. Big Boy Brunzi's classic, Hey Hey, it's on my Into the Blues album. <laughs> Here, here, 
Hey baby, hey, you lost your good thing now Hey, you told me you loved me, but I found out somehow Hey baby, hey guitar hero, I suppose. Normally when I walk in the door here on a Tuesday night, someone asks for this. So. But nobody asks tonight. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. That's the one. It's been haunting me for the last 30 years. It's pissed. Peter Green, what a great guitar player. Just a tiny bit less guitar in the monitor, thanks, uh, Robbie. Really. <laughs> Hendrix at Woodstock.
my career highlights, five minutes, thank you, was playing that one night in the pub and the guy tried to sing words to it. Oh. Never quite worked out what he was saying, and he was convinced that Albatross had words. Uh, interesting moment that was. Did a bit of Brunsy, did a bit of Clapton. Now I'm going to set fire on my guitar. Okay, warm myself up. Here's a little bit of uh, Jimmy meets Bob Dylan. Um, I'll start up with a, a tune of Jimmy's called uh, "Little Wing," and then go into uh, a Dylan song he made very famous. One of my favourite versions of this uh, All on the Watchtowers is uh, Hendrix at the Isle of Wight. You can hear him doing all this kind of thing. And there's a storm brewing in the background. As Jimmy's doing this, through his marshal, he picks up a Spanish radio station. It's, it's really loud, it's, it's all an incredible moment. I can just imagine Jimmy's face stoned out of his mind and and Spanish music's coming out of his at Marshall. Imagine what was happening then. It was a cosmic moment in, in rock and roll history. And, uh, it's still a great version of all on the watch today. And Little Wing.
I've been indulging in some John Hurt tonight. I'm going to take you out with one as well. And uh, this is called the Monday Morning Blues. And uh, I kind of rearranged this one as well. It's on my guitar music album. <laughs> Still vaguely in tune. This is the Monday Morning Blues, folks, because thank you for uh, coming along and supporting him. Uh, yes, uh, and it's a wonderful thing. And uh, hope to see you around the traps. Monday Morning Blues.
Leben zu dir.